Good morning. My name is JR. Most of you know me on the Lightorama forums or the Facebook page as JR or Dibble JR um, is my username. And uh, uh, this morning, the star of the show is going to be Ralphie. And what I'm going to show you today is uh, how I melt my singing props and, and all of my props really, but for this is just the singers today but how I melt my singing props uh, using easy, uh, no drilling, no special tools required, just a hammer uh, to put the frames together. So this, this I melt them to these frames. Uh, for one singer, it'll take two by one inch by 40 inch long square tubing it's aluminum and then two by 37 inch long square tubing like i said that's aluminum super lightweight and then i have four connectors these are um 90 degree elbows they're nylon super light these hammer on they do uh make some that slip on and off so if you're the you're if you situation you have to take your props apart then they'll just pull right off you can take them apart you can bungee cord them together put them in a box and store them and roll your singers back up however my singers all get framed they hang up on my walls my rafters are all over my garage here on every wall um also these connectors you can get them in all kinds of shapes with different features to them my matrixes um, have casters they're a four-way have a hole on the bottom and it has a caster on it so i put wheels on it i roll it out of my garage into my yard or wherever i'm gonna put it and secure them and that's all my matrixes except for my bitty one that's just hand carry Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this together. Normally this will take about five minutes or less to, to hammer these together, but because I was making a video to take a little bit longer, after I put them together, I'm gonna screw Ralphie down to the frame. And to do that, I use Hillman, if you can see in the camera, they're Hillman 8 by 9 16 inch last screws, okay, they're self-piercing, uh, so you don't need to pre-drill a hole or anything. Now, because the frames are aluminum and have a plastic corner, uh, the holes that come from Lightorama in the props are on each side pretty much in the middle where the tubing goes together with the plastic. So what I'll do is I'll just put one screw off by itself right through the plastic. Then I'll work my, I'll start on the top, work myself over. I skip every other hole. I've, I've um, through the years, I, you know, I realize I don't need every hole for every prop. And then I'll work myself down the edges and then I'll do the bottom last. And in between each screw hole, I just put my foot on the frame and the PVC material that the prop is made out of uh, to take out any of the uh, any warping or any waves or anything like that. Now you'll want to put a frame on these before you try to install the nodes. As you can see, this has no nodes. I'm going to part two of this video will be installing the nodes in it um so uh if you don't install the nodes you'll get all kinds of and you're trying to put it on a frame it's gonna it's it's gonna try when you put the nodes in it's gonna flex once you get so many nodes in it's kind of heavy so it's gonna do all kinds of weird stuff and it's gonna take you extra time to install the nodes i found that putting the frame on first gives you a lot of uh you can put a lot of pressure on it you can put the nodes in, there's no giving 
There's no flexing and it, it speeds the job up tremendously. I, I could put one of these together without the, not making a video in 30 minutes. Okay. I've been doing this for a while, so it's easier for me. You get, after you do the first one, you'll get faster each time when you're installing the, the nodes. So now I'm gonna put the frame together. So I'll just take one end, it doesn't matter. This is the side. Okay, I'll start with the side. And I'll just put one elbow, just hand, just put it in there by hand right now on each end. And I do that so it protects the aluminum square tubing from damage with the hammer or damage on the floor. That'll protect it. I'll hit the top one. Usually they'll both go in. Sometimes I'll have to hit both. You'll also want to make sure that your elbows are both facing the, the same way. If, if, if I was to put this on wrong and it was going this way, then it would be hard for me to get this off. It will come off if, even though it's hammered on but the slip-ons come off just sliding right off. Um, if you're using the slip-on, then this uh, screws in there, or you can also use uh, zip ties, will hold the pressure enough to keep this together. So as long as you've got something on this, secured to this, screws or zip ties, whatever, it will hold that securely uh, and let you take it apart. You don't have to worry. These will not come apart, and then I use screw sets that's double the strength. Definitely not coming apart. We've had high winds and they've all survived. Now I'm just going to hammer them down for this. Just a, uh, I use a maul, little maul. Uh, you can use a hammer. It's, it's hard with your hand um, to do it. Now I'm going to take a side. Get that on. Take another side. Put that on by hand. Just enough to keep some force on it. Get my other two elbows, corners. Like I said, you gotta make sure they're all facing the same way. That's loose on there. Now I'm just gonna tap it on. You hear that that thump, the hollow sound. When you hear the thump, you can tell that you're you've got it secured. Right there, that's secure. So all three corners are all secure. Now I'm just gonna slip my other side on. took me like what one to two minutes tops put the frame together no tools except for the hammer and if they were to slide on so I wouldn't even have that all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mount Ralphie to this frame as I discussed and I'll start on the top you don't want to drop these in your garage because they will give you a flat tire. You leave them laying around. against it so it doesn't slide around on me you get one screw and like I said I'm not going to use the two screw holes in the corner provided by Laterama I'm gonna put one right in the corner where the right in the middle of my black elbow just to let you know you can you can do it however you want that's just what I do
just make for a real good, easy starting point. Okay, and what I'll do from there, I'm going to put the other one on this side as well. I'm going to put that in loose. I'm going to come over and I'll move it when I need to. There's going to be a little bit of a wrinkle working this way until I get there. Then I can just take it out and, and tighten it down. Very loosely put it on there. There is 44 holes in the frame in the outside edge of the prop from the factory. Okay, and like I said, I only use half of them. So I'll skip every other hole and uh, that'll be it. I'll put the first one in the first hole on the top, not in the corner. And I'm just going to use my thumb. I'm going to pull a little bit of tension on it so it takes a little wrinkle out. Normally I do this on the floor so I can just put all my full body weight on it, get the screw through quicker. But for the video, it's hard for you to see on the floor. So I'm just going to do it standing up. It takes an extra second to screw the hole in. For this one, I'm just going to do every hole that we, that we can see if you decide to do every hole. Uh, on the top the top I'll do every hole just for uh, give it some strength there and then for the video I'll just skip <laughs> normally once again I only do every other screw I'll start there I'll do this one then I'll skip over to here, one right above the star. And the same with the edge. Skip the hole, every other screw until the bottom. I just want that extra bit of support on the bottom. I get a lot of rain here. Sometimes my props can get flooded. Then I got the bottom, I got the extra screw again in the elbow. I skip all the way across and Ralphie, is done.